Tori Melman, TYP, Wellman Wellman's training, back with you, finishing up the lower quadrant of the said trigger point rollouts, okay? Now we have reached the hip point, okay? At some point, your side fascial line, front fascial line, back fascial line will meet at said hip joint. It's important that we're reducing the tension in said hip joint, because all the muscles that attach, particularly the hip flexor, which also attaches into the lower back, can make or break your success in postural alignment and subsequent activation or execution of movements. Again, we talked about those postural disadvantages or those imbalances that can now only lead or load certain muscle groups and cause an overload or an imbalance, which in turn can cause some more usage and can cause some pain, tightness, and unfortunately some injuries. So it's important we reintroduce some suppleness to the hip joints and all the muscle tissues or fascial lines that surround that particular area. So we're gonna get into again, the trigger point release. We start bilaterally, okay, where we're in both hips and I'm finding that hip joint and I'm scraping on the roller here. Okay, again, I'm using my Unity Lifestyle Grind Roller. Fantastic roller. Starting in that bilateral position, after I've warmed up that particular area, what I want to do is maybe just move to one hip, put more weight distribution on that hip. And when I'm in that set hip, you may notice my foot is internally rotated. I'm going to stimulate a different component or a different area of that hip if I'm in that type of position and I need to investigate. So I'm going to check out both foot positions to now maybe scrape the internal component of the hip. Okay, after I've done that, now the hip is really warmed up and all those tissues that surround it, I want to start inducing some type of a movement pattern. That's what's essentially going to actively release those tight components, which are jamming the hip and literally pulling the foot into that kind of external bias or that fixed position. So it's important I'm regaining some space or some suppleness in said area by doing techniques such as these. Okay. This will actually help reawaken some core and reintroduce or give you a better uh, you know, opportunity to reintroduce or build upon your mobility, specifically external and internal mobility. Building your external and internal hip mobility will reactivate the core, can help you lose a little bit of weight in the core and help you get it a lot stronger. Helping you get into a neutral position. It'll also reduce lower back issues. So check this out today.